right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a Bears video on Chicago Bears Daily, where we post daily Chicago Bears content. If that's something you enjoy, enjoy this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. All right. Well, first things first, goodbye, Keem Hicks. One of the last remaining OG Bear defenders on the roster. We'll see what the Bears decide to do, man. Obviously, the Bears aren't in a, they're not in a spot right now where they're just, you know, going out here trying to sign anybody that they can get their hands on to. Poles is smart, he's precise, he's systematic, and he, you know, he, he just knows what he's doing, right? The system's set in place, and so maybe Linville Joseph is not who the Bears should sign, but... You know, no more Akeem Hicks, no more Eddie Goldman, no more Khalil Mack. The defense has definitely been taking a hit. However, with that being said, you know, they are getting in the right direction. I, I absolutely love Nicholas Morrow. I absolutely love Jaquan Brisker. I absolutely love Kyler Gordon. And that's just to name a few. So, you know, Linville Joseph, uh, he's an OG, bro. I mean, he's just a straight up OG. This is a Super Bowl champion. This is a two-time Pro Bowler. He started his career with the New York Giants in 2010. So he's 33 years old. That's the downside. The good news is he's still efficient. So this would just be kind of a definite one-year signing. Last year with the Chargers, actually, before we get into his stats last year, I would like the record to state this. This isn't a signing that I think the Bears need to do. But what I do know is Linville Joseph right now, you've got like Nadamakin Sue. Um, you know, you got Larry still out there. He's definitely like a top three remaining defensive tackle. The thing is with the Bears, you know, it's tough, dude, because we just don't really know what to expect. You know, the whole Larry failed physical was extremely depressing i still think the bears should try and get their hands on larry again I, I really do linville joseph maybe it's just one of those last minute if he's still available they go out and get it it's not something that i urge them to do but it's not something i would be upset in the slightest if they were to do if that makes sense so last season with the los angeles chargers he played 14 games longevity the good news is longevity is is in his favor i mean he hasn't played less than i think 11 get 12 games since 2010 dude his rookie season he's played more than 12 games every year so you can rely on him so maybe you bring him in here, maybe you bring him into Chicago to kind of help establish that new culture, you know, that those playmakers, those heavy hitters. Now, at this point in Linville's career, he's a rotational guy. You know, he's a rotational guy. So you have him in there and then you sprinkle in your rookies, you sprinkle in, you know, your younger players, the other players, um, you know, on prove it deals or what have you. Why not? Right. All right. Stats, let's talk stats. One sack last season, 57 tackles. He had three tackles for loss and two quarterback hits. So you're not going to see, I mean, I think his only, yeah, his career has like four sacks in a season. What he is known for, what he's always been known for, and what he's always and still is a G at is run stop. Like this dude just gets in the trenches and he stops that run. So maybe you bring him in. He's a big ass body. Bring him in as a big ass body. And then you let Roquan, you let Moro, you let them just, you set them up perfectly for those linebackers. Like I said, though, this defense, Alan Williams, Dr. E, it's going to be really interesting to see what they decide to do. I think, uh, what was it, Jalen Johnson a couple of days ago was saying how he really likes this new culture that the Chicago Bears are establishing with this new staff where they're just looking for playmakers, dude. They want to cause turnovers. If you go back and look at the Colts' defense the past couple of years, they've been really good, man. They've been unbelievable at causing turnovers because turnovers, I don't need to explain turnovers to you guys. You know, you know what they do, but they're, they light you up. It's contagious. Turnovers are contagious in a positive way for your roster. You, your defense gets a huge turnover, which either puts you in, you know, maybe the opponent's red zone, maybe you're at midfield, maybe you're up by your goal line. Like, it doesn't matter. A turnover is a turnover, and it ignites the offense, and it ignites the defense. So, I just think he would be a nice little rotational piece if they decided to go in that direction. But another huge reason I wanted to make this video was because I want to hear your guys' thoughts what do you think about the defensive tackles position? Do you think they need to go out, find a Hicks replacement? You like what they have already? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Like I said, I still... Dude, the Larry, bro, Ogunjobi. Ogunjobi would have been money for this roster, dude. He's like, what, 25, 26 years old? He just had a stellar season. 
I hope they still find a way to get him. But Linville Joseph, let me know what you guys think down below. As always, hit that like button, hit that sub button. Appreciate you guys watching today, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.